We left the harbor of Carthage and sailed west to the Pillars of Hercules. With me were sixty ships carrying thirty thousand men and women. Our cargo holds were stuffed with food and other equipment. Two days after passing through the Pillars and into the Atlantic Ocean, we turned south. We saw a large plain covered with trees. Not far from there was a lake. Around it were many elephants and other wild animals. The spot seemed good. So here we founded our first town of the voyage. To pray for the safety of the voyage, we built a temple to Poseidon, the god of the sea. We continued sailing west and south towards our colony of Lyxos. Along the way, we founded more towns. When we reached Lyxos, we stopped for a while to replenish our supplies. The natives who live near Lyxos are nomads and wander the land without a home. They are friendly, and we traded for many of their cattle. They told us stories of a race of cavemen who live in the mountains. They say these cavemen can run faster than horses and are the nomads' deadly enemies. A few nomads joined our voyage as interpreters, so we would be able to speak to the people we would meet further south. We sailed south again. After two weeks, we came to a land covered in tall mountains. The trees growing on them were brightly colored. Their wood smelled wonderful when burnt. During one night, we saw many campfires in the forests not far away. We heard the beating of drums and the clashing of cymbals. We could hear thousands of people shouting. Fearing an attack by the natives, we fled back to the ships and sailed away. Four days later, we came to a strange sight. The entire coast was in flames at night. In the middle was a big fire, taller than all the others. It seemed to rise to the very stars. In the morning, we saw it was a mountain pouring out flames. Our interpreter said it was called the Chariot of the Gods. Rivers of fire swept down from the mountain and emptied into the sea. It was impossible to land because of the heat. Worried that our ships would catch fire, we quickly sailed away from that place. Finally, we came to a wide gulf of water. Inside the bay was a ring of tiny islands. We sailed between the islands into the calm lagoon of water in the middle. There was a lush green island at its center. I saw that it would make a wonderful harbor, so we landed to explore it. The island was inhabited by the strangest savages ever seen by any of my crew or myself. Both men and women had bodies completely covered by hair. The interpreters called them gorillas. We chased them, but could not catch any of the males. They were expert climbers. They threw rocks at us to drive us off. We did catch three of the savages' women. They refused to be kept captive, though, and a bit and clawed at our men. So finally we had to kill them. We took their skins with us to prove what strange people lived here. Our food was running short at this point, so I ordered our fleet to turn around and sail home back to Carthage. I considered the voyage a success. We had founded a number of new towns on our journey. We had boldly gone further south than anyone had before. I, Hanno the Navigator, wrote down this account for the people of Carthage. By reading it, they will know what lies beyond the pillars of Hercules along the coast of Africa.